Hello everyone, this is Cyber, and I went to PAX South this weekend and I got you all some details on Umbrella Corp. Before I get into the finer details of the game, what you need to understand is this is not Resident Evil. The way to approach this game is to look at it as a fast-paced shooter set in the Resident Evil universe. If you fanboy out about how this is not like the traditional Resident Evil you love, you will miss out on a very good game. Now when I was at PAX South, I had the chance to play a few 3v3 matches in a mode called One Life Mode. This was a single death elimination mode. At the beginning of each match, there were three preset loadouts for your character. Loadouts consisted of a primary, a secondary, grenades, and a tactical melee weapon. The various weapons in these presets were an assault rifle called the K-12AX and a shotgun called the Doberman Pinscher in the primary slots a pistol secondary, a frag, and a jammer grenade, more about those jammers shortly, and the tactical melee weapon. Being that this game takes place in the Resident Evil universe, there are zombies roaming around the map, so each player is outfitted with a zombie jammer. The zombie jammer keeps the zombies from noticing you while you fight the other team. There are two ways to disable this jammer. Shooting a jammer will destroy it and make the player noticeable by the zombies, or temporarily disabling the jammer with the jammer grenades. These jammers are noticeable by the blue area of effect they create when thrown. Players also come with a tactical shield that the characters carry around on their arm. It can be used to block headshots or protect against zombie attacks. One of the more unique features is the icon system. Throughout the match, your teammate's directional location is shown to you on the screen with icons. On these icons, you can see your teammate's health, weapon type, and jammer pack status. This system is used for coordination with your team. I can see it being very useful in online situations where players are not using voice. Also at the beginning of the match, you are presented with a selection wheel. This wheel has icons for various attack strategies. Selecting one of these will display the strategy on your icon, such as attack right, meaning you intend to attack on the right flank. I want to say a few more words before I let the footage roll. As I said before, this is not Resident Evil and should not be compared to it. You should judge this game based on what it is and not what it should be as a Resident Evil game. I enjoyed the game for the short time I played it. And I believe if you like fast paced competitive shooters, then you should give this game a try. The rest of this video is going to be the PAX South footage that I recorded. Thank you again guys, this has been Cyber.